Hello, my name is Prasanjit and I work for BMC ATM Orchestrator product. Today, I would like to talk about the newly introduced REST API operations in BMC ATM Orchestrator version 7.9 and how you can make the most of it. Let's begin with what is REST and RESTful Web Services. REST stands for Representational State Transfer and is a lightweight alternative to SOAP operations. It is primarily used to build web services. So web services based on REST are known as RESTful web services and are lightweight, which means they require far less resources compared to SOAP. It is highly scalable and maintainable, commonly used to create APIs for web-based applications. And unlike SOAP, which only permits XML data format, REST permits different data formats like XML, JSON, plain text, etc. Till BAO version 7.8, REST API only offered basic login logout functionality along with job and process management APIs using which one can execute workflows on the grid, pause, resume or cancel running jobs. Starting BAO version 7.9, in addition to the job and process management APIs, we have also introduced new REST API operations to improve the user experience and simplify most of the manual tasks in Grid Manager. With the introduction of Remedy Single Sign-On, BAO REST API can now be used to log in and log out to RSSO and manage user accounts and roles within the application. Next is Repository Management API, which brings the capability to upload or delete adapters and modules from the repository without actually opening the repository manager. Lastly, we have the Adapter and Module Management API, which allows us to add and configure adapters, enable or disable the adapter or module, upgrade adapters and module on the grid, start or stop adapters on the peer, activate or deactivate modules, along with fetching the list of activated adapters and modules to name a few. For the complete list of supported REST API operations, refer the BMC ATM Orchestrator 7.9 product documentation. Now, let's do a quick demo to see how we can use these new REST API operations. We are currently using the Postman REST client along with Postman Interceptor, which can be downloaded from the Chrome Web Store. Alternatively, you can also use other REST clients such as SOAP UI to execute the REST calls. Now, open the Postman REST client and turn on the Interceptor. This is required to capture the authentication and cookie details. Now, on the left sidebar, as you can see, I have already created the request templates. Let's start with RSSO login call. Now, this is the RSSO login URL. For the method, select post, click on body, make sure raw is selected, and from this drop down list, select JSON. The moment you select JSON over here, it will automatically add a header entry, which is content type as application JSON. Now go back to body. Over here, provide the RSSO admin credential. This one is the default credential. Click send. Now let's scroll down. As you can see, we have received a status code of 200, which means the login was successful. Click on the cookie tab. So we have received a J session ID, an authentication token, along with an XSRF token. In order to execute subsequent call in RSSO, we need to pass this XSRF token as a part of the header. Now, let's copy this XSRF token and attempt an RSSO logout operation. So, this is the RSSO logout URL. Make sure the method is selected as post. In this request, you don't have to provide a body. The only thing which is required is a header that is the XSRF token with the token ID that we copied from the login request. Paste it over here and click send. As you can see, we have received a status code of 200 and we have been successfully logged out. In the next part of this video series, we'll see how we can use REST API to manage users and roles in Remedy Single Sign-On. 